In this lecture, I'm going to show you how to connect a USB device to a virtual machine. As an example, I'm going to be connecting a wireless adapter to my Kali machine. But the same method can be used to connect any USB device. What I mean by a wireless adapter is a USB device that connects through USB to your computer and it allows you to communicate with wireless networks. Now most computers and laptops come with a built-in wireless card. The only problem is, first of all, you can't access built-in wireless cards from a virtual machine. Also, even if you can, so even if you install Kali as a main machine, the built-in wireless cards are not good for hacking because we need a powerful adapter that supports monitor mode and packet injection. And we're gonna go into what each of these mean. But basically, the built-in wireless adapter does not support these modes and can't be used for hacking. So I already have VirtualBox open and you just want to click the machine that you want to connect the adapter to. We're gonna go to its settings. We're gonna go to ports. We're gonna go to USB. And make sure that USB is enabled. And you wanna pick the USB option that is used by your adapter. So it's either USB 1, 2, or 3. And for the adapter that I have, it uses USB 2. Then you wanna come here to the plus sign and click on it. Now you'll see that I have a number of devices that I can attach to the Kali machine. Now I still haven't connected the adapter. So first of all, I'm just gonna have a look on the available devices. Then I'm gonna connect the adapter and I'm gonna list the devices again. I did that because we're assuming that I don't know the name of my adapter because the name that you'll see here is the name of the chipset that's used inside the adapter. So it's not the brand name that you see on the adapter itself. So when I click on it now, you'll see that I have a new entry called Atheros. And this is actually my wireless adapter. It's an Alpha AWS 036NHA. So I'm gonna click on it. That's it added here. I'm gonna click on OK. And that's the adapter added to Kali. Now, before we can start Kali, we have to install VirtualBox extensions to allow VirtualBox to use this USB device. Now, the download link will be included in the resources. I have the page already opened in here. And you can see in here, we have a link for VirtualBox extension pack, and you can just click on this link to download it. Now, this will only work for VirtualBox 5.1.22, if you have a different version, so to get your version, you can just go to VirtualBox, About VirtualBox. If you're on Windows, you'll have to go to File, About VirtualBox, and you'll see that I'm on 5.0.20. So I'll have to come back here, and I don't have the latest version, so I'm gonna have to go down to the VirtualBox Older Builds, go on 5.0, and look for 5.0.20 and download its extension pack. So if you have the latest version that's listed on the main page, then download it from there. If you have an older version, go to the old builds like I did, scroll down and download the one that is compatible with your version. Now, once it's downloaded, you'll be able to find it in your downloads or to whatever location you downloaded it to and then you can just double click it to install it. So this is the one that's compatible with my VirtualBox. I'm gonna double click it. And as you can see, for me, it's telling me that it's already installed. For you, it's just gonna give you an install button. For me, it's called reinstall. So I'm just gonna reinstall it just to show you how it's gonna go. And we'll need to scroll down and agree. Put your password. And that's it, the extension pack is installed. So I'm gonna hit enter. Now before starting my virtual machine, I'm gonna physically disconnect my wireless adapter, and then I'm gonna connect the adapter once Kali fully loads. Now I'm gonna start it. So I'm gonna put my username, which is root, 
and my password which is T-O-O-R okay now Kali is fully loaded I'm gonna go and physically connect my wireless adapter and like I said I usually do this just to avoid any conflicts now once the adapter is connected you want to make sure that it's attached to Kali and to do that we're gonna go to the devices menu so we're gonna go all the way to the top we're gonna go to devices we're gonna go on USB and we're gonna make sure that this adapter right here is checked now sometimes it might not be checked for you so click on it to check it for me it's already checked so I'm not gonna click it and to confirm that the adapter is connected we can just go on terminal right here and type if config this command lists all the interfaces that's connected to the machine and as you can see now it's showing an adapter called LAN0 which is the wireless adapter